to me, white dresses are like nude lipsticks, like they're not the same. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today, one, two, three, four of haul week I think, I'm losing track to tell you the truth, but today we are doing H&M and I am really really excited, I hauled H&M for the first time ever on my channel um, during last haul week which was autumn and I just couldn't believe how many amazing gorgeous things I found and now I'm a total convert so I've been really excited for this because I've never done a spring H&M haul. Please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you're new here today and check out the other hauls that I've posted this week. We've done Zara, ASOS and Topshop. I'm going to leave a playlist of all the videos down below in the info box and in the corner up here. Also I will link everything that I show in the video down below in the info box although I was having a little look last night because I ordered this stuff about a week ago and the things in H&M do kind of come in and out of stock quite quickly, they do sell out and a few of the things that I did buy um, have sold out or they do have limited sizes so I want to take this opportunity to tell you guys about a new web app that I've been using for a few months now called ShopTagger. So ShopTagger have very kindly sponsored this section of the video and I'm so happy because it's something that I've been using like I said for a good few months now and I really really love it. It's an absolute lifesaver when it comes to online shopping. I've told you guys hundreds of times um, when I shop online if something is out of stock in my size I never give up on it. I always just like leave the tab up and keep refreshing it and refreshing it and refreshing it until fingers crossed it comes back in stock and that's a tip that I've shared with you before. ShopTagger basically does that for you because realistically you cannot really sit on your laptop or phone all day refreshing, refreshing and refreshing. ShopTagger can identify and notify you when the product comes back in stock. So I'm just going to pop a little screen video on my screen now to show you how it works. So all you have to do to get started is download the shop tagger button into your browser. So I use it on Google Chrome, you can get it from the Google Chrome store, it's free and really easy to install. And all you have to do is go to the item page of the product that you're after and hit the little shop tagger button and then you can choose your preferences like the size, colour, etc. And then basically what it will do is notify you on your desktop or you can also get um, mobile notifications too if you get the mobile app when the item goes into the sale or the price is reduced or your size comes back in stock. So it's actually a total lifesaver. So here you can see where I've saved all of the items that I was looking for to come back in stock. And you can also organize them into multiple lists. So wish list, for example, or here I've got my LA list. So it really is an amazingly handy tool for online shopping. I'd really recommend you guys download it. I'll leave a link to download below in the description box. And then you can use it on any of these items or any of the items in my haul week that are out of stock. So I'm really, really excited to get into this box. I just want to say quickly that I'm really annoyed because this morning I noticed, um, on Instagram that H&M have launched a brand new Conscious line which is part of their more like sustainable range and I totally missed it because I did this order last week, they only launched it today as I'm filming and I really don't have time to um, you know, film this on another day, it has to be today so I do just want to urge you guys to check it out because I had a look and there are so many pretty pieces in there and I know many of you, you know, are really worried about fast fashion so if you want to shop a little more consciously then that would be a really good range to check out and I just want to mention that I did not leave it out on purpose. However, I did get some amazing bits so let's crack into this box and have a try on session. So guys, the first thing I picked up is this beautiful two piece. This literally looks exactly like the kind of thing that you would find on Revolve for like £500 from a brand like Zimmerman or um, Love Shack Fancy or For Love and Lemons. They charge so much for this kind of outfit. I love how H&M is kind of like replicating it. It's so, so great. Obviously the quality like is not as good as it would be from those brands, but to be honest, I don't think you can tell by looking at it. You could only really tell by feeling it. I think it looks beautiful. This skirt is very tight. Like maybe I would say size up in this because it's okay, like it fits, but you can't really like move very much but overall like it is a really beautiful shape I love this top I would actually wear this top with like some high-waisted jeans or like a white you know summer skirt you could wear this top with like lots of different things I feel like the skirt needs to be worn with this I mean I'm not sure I don't know I just love the color I love the roses I love the little gathered wrist and all the ruffles it's just so feminine and beautiful this is like my spring this is like my summer vibe honestly with a little pair of heels and a lovely bag, um, this would just be like the perfect, you know, summer outfit. Yeah, I just love this, this is amazing. The next thing I got is this incredible dress, and I mean incredible, and this was actually one of the things that was out of stock, and I actually used ShopTagger to get this dress. Um, I literally snapped it up as soon as I got the notification, because it's so beautiful. It looks like a designer dress, I think. It looks so expensive, it looks like it could totally be Zimmerman, or you know like Chloe or something like that it's so 
so gorgeous and it's about 49.99 I think which um, yeah is expensive I think for H&M but it's totally worth it because honestly a dress like this you could buy and I think I said this on in my Zara haul and I've probably said it a million times this week but certain dresses stuff like this will last you like take you through so many spring summers because there's nothing not classic about this broderie anglais it's a really beautiful fit it's just absolutely divine I love these sleeves the ruffles um, and just the whole shape and fit of it is literally perfect and I know that you're thinking that a dress like this is probably the last thing that I need but the truth is although you may call me boring I literally do live in dresses like this for the whole spring and summer I just cannot get enough of them I love them and it's nice not to wear the same one every single day it's nice to have you know a choice um, even though they're similar they're not the same so yeah I feel like I have to keep this it's so so beautiful even my mum just came in and she was like wow where's that from? I was like H&M. She went, no, it looks so expensive. So yeah, I'm so happy I got my hands on this one thanks to Shop Tagger. You should definitely add it to your list and get your hands on this if you can. The next outfit I got was this. I really like these cool shorts. They're brown. They look really, really dark. I don't know if they kind of look black on camera, but they're just a really nice dark brown and I really like these. They're not my typical spring colour because they are quite dark, but I thought the brown was really nice and always tones in so nicely with like whites and creams and pale pinks and pastel colours so I do really like these they're nice and high-waisted which I love um, and a really nice kind of loose fit not like a baggy fit but just not really like clingy and skin tight because I hate that this is a little like tie front cami top um, and I just thought that these bits looked really weird <laughs> like really limp maybe after an eye and they would look better um, so I just tucked them in so I thought it looked a little bit better, um, it's okay, the cami's alright, it's just very very basic, but to be fair it's the kind of thing you could wear like with so many different skirts, shorts, jeans. I do like the shorts though, the shorts are cool, they fit really nicely, and all together like, you know, it does look cute, it's just not like a wow outfit. I think I'm still on a high from the dress, and this outfit was like a come down. I just don't know what's going on with these, they just look really weird. Okay guys, here is the next uh, little outfit. I really love this skirt, this is so 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 cute the color is a little bit different to how it looked online it's described as pale pink and i would say that's definitely lilac in my opinion but it is very very pretty it's a lovely fit it's a lovely flow um and you don't really see many cute skirts like this around that are really feminine this top on the other hand is a bit weird it's okay i did think it was really cute online and i saw this in josie's haul and it did look really cute on her but on me i just feel like it looks really odd and the sleeves are just too like poofy like they're just too much it is a cute concept like I like the smocking maybe with a pair of like jeans it could look a bit better right now it's looking a bit twee with like the little girly skirt and the girly tops and maybe if you wanted to like make it look a bit more cool with some jeans or some jean shorts or something just a little bit less girly then it would look okay but I don't think this top is for me um, although I do really like this skirt it's a nice colour don't you think it's actually really pretty but all together I just feel like I look like I'm from The Sound of Music here is the next look and it's another two piece. Again, I think these are sold separately and I absolutely love this. I think I actually kind of prefer this to the first one. It's a little bit more wearable. The other is very like beachy, there's a lot of skin out, it's very flouncy, which is gorgeous. But I feel like this is more one that you could wear casually, you know, like to work or just to a really nice sort of casual occasion. You could dress this up also. Like casually I'd wear this with a little pair of brown ankle boots, like Chelsea boots you know, in a handbag, but then dress up in the evening with heels and a little clutch. And it would look so, so cute. I really love this, it's so adorable. It's a really like quaint little pattern, but I think the fact that it kind of is low cut, there's midriff, there's slits at the bottom, kind of gives it like more of a sexy vibe. And the contrast of those two, I just love. I'm like all about that. It is a little bit see-through, so make sure you wear nude underwear. Why do I never wear the right underwear when I film a haul? Here is the length. So it is midi, it's a really nice length actually, and it buttons up all the way down to about like your mid thigh and then it opens up which is really really pretty and all together I just think it's such a nice like sophisticated but very feminine um, shape and it's just really beautiful. I also really love these sleeves, the kind of loose fit and the back is really pretty too because it is like mainly backless apart from two buttons and then you tie it in a little knot at the back which I just think looks so so pretty and yeah I think if I had to choose actually between the first and the second two piece I would go for this I just think it's absolutely lovely I need to stop talking about it now but yeah I love it so next I have this dress and this is so so beautiful again oh my god it definitely has like a Zimmerman vibe something a lot more designer and expensive than H&M um, it's really really gorgeous at first I thought I wouldn't really like the fact that 
it has no shape around the waist because normally as you guys know I do like to have a little bit more shape in my outfits but actually I think it looks so beautiful and sort of natural and feminine just to have it like hanging it's just really really pretty I love the sleeves it's kind of got like embroidery detail, broidery detail, um, it's got this little tie around the neck with a keyhole and a little frill at the bottom. I did actually pick up this really cute belt which is like a faux suede pink belt with pearls round the buckle because I guess I just wanted to see what it would look like if you did kind of just nip it in at the waist and give yourself a little bit more shape. That looks really really cool too. Um, you could make it a little less girly and wear like a brown leather woven belt and kind of go for that like western prairie look with some cowboy boots would look absolutely amazing. It just feels well made, like well designed, and I just think honestly it looks amazing. It looks again like a designer dress if you really like styled this correctly. I just love it, this is so pretty. I kind of underestimated this dress. I ordered it in an extra small. Whenever I see something that's like a little bit more of a loose fit, a baggy fit, then I do always kind of go a bit to my smaller size and I'm really happy with the way it fits. I don't think I'd want it like too much baggier than this. I know I have a lot of white dresses, but to me white dresses are like nude lipsticks, like they're not the same. To me, like they're completely different just because they may be white and embroidered, broidery lace. To me, they're completely different. So yeah, I really, really want to keep this one. Okay, so we're at the point in the video where I buy something that I really question why I did and it's usually because I don't want the video to be boring and show you like a thousand white dresses. I try and do something a little bit different. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Uh, these trousers are a miss. Like, what was I thinking? I really don't like them. They are clinging and I don't uh, like... Well, the colour is actually okay. I actually thought these were a little bit pinker. Here's the length. They do come to actually quite a good length. Um, and I suppose if you were looking for some really like kind of smart but kind of cute work trousers maybe these would be okay. I don't personally like them very much though and I would not wear these. The top is really pretty. It's like a little lace up uh, broidery cami top. I will just say it was an absolute to get on. It zips but it only like zips down to there so you have to pull it over your head um, and if you have like big boobs that like, you can forget this basically. Although having said that I suppose you could untie this but then it's going to take you forever to lace it back up again and who has time for that like I cannot be bothered. On the whole the top is pretty but I could not be fussed with the just hassle and quite frankly the pain of putting this on and I haven't even contemplated taking it off yet oh my god. Next I have another really gorgeous quite unusual I'd say for high street two piece set. This is from H&M's Conscious collection so it's their Conscious cotton or something like that. So it's a top and skirt combo the top is beautiful it's really flowy um there's a little bit too much fabric to be tucking into the skirt, so I don't know if you can see it kind of gathering, um, which is really annoying because it does look like they're supposed to go together in the mannequin they were together. But the reality of wearing them together sometimes isn't great because you can see the fabric kind of bunching, especially if the skirt is slightly see-through, which this is. But all together it just looks like such a beautiful outfit. Again, I'm going to say it looks like Chloe. Zimmerman, something that could be really designer um, and expensive. And altogether, this was £50. It was 25 for the top, 25 for the skirt. And I honestly think that that's amazing for something that looks really unique, really, really special. The attention to detail is amazing, and together they do look beautiful. Um, but like I said, maybe nude underwear because it is a little bit see through, um, and size up in the skirt, and maybe even size down in the top. The top is very, very baggy. I kind of need to go one up in the skirt, one down in the top, and then I think this would look perfect. But on the whole, I'm just so, so impressed that H&M managed to pull off such an incredible, unique looking outfit like this. And then the last look for this haul is this dress. I just popped the belt with this too because I felt like it just needed something. It was a bit too blocky in white. And I do kind of like this dress. I think this takes the top spot this week for the most creased dress. And I think that this would be really difficult to keep looking nice. I think even if you ironed and steamed it the minute you like went out and kind of moved around or sat down that it would get really creased again. But I do think it looks really pretty. It's a nice wrap dress as well. So nice and easy to get on. I've actually found in this haul that the H&M clothes are really hard to get on and off. But this was nice and simple. I do really like the ruffles and I do like the structure of the dress. It's a little bit papery, like it's a little bit thin. This is how the dress looks without the belt. Um, so do you see what I mean? It kind of looks like it needs something to break it up around the middle. It does have a little tie at the back so you can cinch yourself in and kind of like adjust it to fit your body. Um, and then I'm just going to show you with like a handbag. To put it in a bit of context, I think it looks really cute with like a nice handbag like this. Cute pair of brown boots um, or heels if you're like dressing it up a lot for the evening or like a party. I like how it's a sort of shirt material. Kind of gives it a bit of like a masculine vibe, but obviously it's a really feminine 
shape, very flouncy with the ruffles, so I like that contrast. Um, and yeah, actually, the more I have this on, the more I'm really, really fond of it. Freddie, the queen of white dresses. That's what they'll call me. So guys, that's the end of the haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favourite bits down below. For me, it's just all the white dresses. I know I'm boring. I love the same things over and over again, but I just think they were so gorgeous. And I'm so impressed with the really intricate and unusual, like, designer-looking designs that H&M came up with. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new haul. Bye!